In the midst of this crisis, many frontline medical workers are forced to make the heartbreaking decision to live apart from their families. It's just another step they're taking to keep us all safe. Savannah Levins takes us inside their sacrifice. 15-month-old Zephra always runs to greet dad after work, but never like this. For me, coming up and seeing her running up, uh, I was just trying to, to keep it together, to, to be honest. Sam Shikali, an emergency physician, made the heartbreaking decision to separate from his family during this time to protect them from COVID-19. I'm just one of many who are, who are going through this. The soldiers in this fight, doctors, nurses, paramedics, first responders, are answering the call of duty. It means tearful goodbyes to their babies. It means foregoing family dinners and warm embraces and goodnight kisses. It means celebrating milestone birthdays through a screen. We had a virtual birthday party. It was really hard um, <laughs> for a lot of reasons with our one-year-old that we couldn't do the first one and couldn't do anything really much of um, for him. It was, it was, it was hard. Every hello, every I miss you, every I love you. Hi. Hello. Distorted Hi. through a speaker. You want kisses? We've been doing a lot of FaceTiming um, or even driving by the house and them waving out the window. I can't take the risk of bringing this disease home to them. Hotel chains like Hilton and Marriott are pledging millions of free rooms to first responders, Airbnb committing to house 100,000. We needed to find some place for him to stay, and he's been bumping from call rooms to hotel rooms. It's nice that we have an option now. Pop-up groups like RVs for MDs are connecting people who have mobile homes with medical staff. I feel like I'm called to do this, and, and um, I do take pride in it, um, but... In a world's fallen ill, these moms, dads, daughters, sons answer the call so you don't have to say goodbye to the people you love. He does ask every day when, when I can come home, so that brings tears to my eyes. And although every mile apart might feel like an ocean, a homecoming on the horizon in a safer, healthier world is something worth fighting for.